Yo, what's up guys? It's Seth from Schmick Squadron coming back at you with another video about new Sacred Beast support. Oh, God. And that's good. I've already looked at it. I looked at it uh, the night that they posted it, but this is me giving my reaction to you guys. So let's go with the first card, right? Cast Core. Dark, level 3, Fiend, effect, attack 0, defense 0. You can only use this card's first effect once per turn. First effect, when this card is targeted by a card effect or for an opponent's monster's attack, quick effect, you can send up to 3 cards from your hand in or deck to the graveyard, one each of Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames, Amon, Lord of Striking Thunder, and Reveal, Lord of Phantasms. And if you do, place one Phantasm counter on this card for each sent to the graveyard. And if you do that, you take no battle damage for the rest of this turn. So... Quick effect, like, so, first of all, let's talk about its targeting effect. First turn, if you can get it targeted, um, I'm not entirely sure, but if it's targeted, you can send three cards from your hand in or deck to the graveyard. Um, I don't know if it lists the sacred beasts in the effect, but I don't know if it means you can only send those three or if you can send others. But if you can send others, then it's pretty good. It's very, very good, right? Um, if you can send three, just one card or a cut, like three cards from your deck, that's good. Foolish Burial was banned for a reason, right? So, I mean, Jesus Christ. Um, but if not, if you can only send the Sacred Beast, then for the Sacred Beast, of course, that's fine because we still have the Fusion spell that banishes them and summons Armor Tile. So this is good. Plus, it has synergy with Hyper Blaze, summoning them out from the grave as well as um <clears throat> sorry as well as just having defense um just being able to take three attacks i mean why not sure like okay chaos core is probably the weakest of these guys we're not even to the the other three the other three cards oh my god um other card chaos summoning beast uh, you can only use this card's uh, first and second effects once per turn. You can tribute this card's special summon one Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames, one Haman, Lord of Striking Thunder, or one Reveal, Lord of Phantasms, from your hand, ignoring its summoning condition. This is great, because no longer are these sacred beasts when you draw them a brick in your hand. You can actually use them. You can summon them off this guy, and it's a little better than Dark Summoning Beast, because you can attack in the same turn. Dark Summoning Beast won't let you do that. You can only attack or you can't attack if you uh, use his effect but this guy you can summon it attack and then second effect you can banish this card from your graveyard add one fallen paradise from your deck to your hand <laughs> giggity like <laughs> imagine having this guy and let's say Haman in your hand right you normal summon this guy right tribute it Haman okay Banish him, add Fallen Paradise. Activate Fallen Paradise, draw two. This guy with any other Sacred Beast is basically just a draw as just a plus two. I like I like plus twoing. I like drawing two free cards. So yeah, I mean I don't know how else to describe this guy other than he's just fantastic. He's just another fantastic card to add. And Dark Beckoning Beast can sum or can search him. Uh, he can be the additional normal. I mean, okay. Okay. The seven, uh, next card. The Seven Spirit Gates Unleashed Continuous Spell. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. First effect. When this card is activated, you can add from your deck to your hand one Uriah, Lord of Searing Flame, one Haman, Lord of Striking Thunder, one Reveal, Lord of Phantasms, or one monster that specifically lists any of those cards in its text. So this means uh, Chaos Core, uh, Chaos Summoning, I think his name is uh, Chaos Summoning Beast, Chaos Summoning Beast, Dark Beckoning Beast, uh, Dark Summoning Beast, and any of the Sacred Beasts. And then since the Retrain of Reveal has Reveal Lord of Phantasms in the card text of its effect, you'll be able to search that thing out as well. So if you have like Reveal on board, you have this thing, 
activate it, search that retrain, activate the retrain, just make reveal 8K and then be able to go bang, 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 bang. It's a good, pretty good OTK. So it's just consistency. It's insane consistency, which is phenomenal. Two, once per turn, you can discard one card, special summon one fiend monster with zero attack and defense from your graveyard. So, okay. I can discard like a Lost Wind. I mean, you can discard anything and then you can special summon one of your fiend monsters back. One of your, again, Dark Beckoning Beast, Dark Summoning Beast, Chaos Core, or Chaos Summoning Beast. Um, all can be, uh, can be special summoned from Grave. Sure. Sure. And I mean, the... I just mean, like, there... The fact that it can summon any of them is great, um, and the fact that it can discard any card can also have some like synergy, like with some cards like Lost Wind or like the third effect. Once per turn, if you control a level ten monster, Sacred Beast, you can add one continuous spell from your graveyard to your hand. So going back to that second effect, discard a continuous spell, special summon the fiend. Then you can also activate it. Since you have a sacred, since you'll likely have a sacred beast on board, special summon the fiend, add back that continuous spell. So you lost nothing. You didn't it like you added back the card you discarded, and then you just special summoned back a card. It's really good resourcing. I have nothing but good things to say about this card. This card's nuts. Discarding the other card are nuts, but then we're getting into the fucking trap, guys. The trap. The trap. Boys. Boy. S the Sacred Beasts Awaken, Continuous Trap. One, this card gains these effects depending on the number of Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames, Haman, Lord of Striking Thunder, and Reveal, Lord of Phantasms, you control with different names. So, of course, you have to control all the different names, but, you know, the more you have, the better the effect gets. So, first effect, one plus. Each time your opponent normal or special summons a monster, monsters gain life points equal to the combined attack. So, let's just, for instance, say, um, I, I would, uh, let's just use Dino for an example, right? Um, normal summon over Raptor, and you get 1800, right? Let's say the best they can do is, like, special summon, uh, conductor next, right? It says each time your opponent normal or special summons. So, if I think I'm reading this correctly then basically what you can do, is, or what happens, is you get the 18 from the Overraptor. They summon the Conductor, the UCT, that's 3,500, and then I believe you get another 18 because it's combined attack, right? So you get basically 36 and then 35. So you get like 7,100 life points. That's insane in time, but that's also insane because... A lot of our monsters that are normal summoned are zero attack. We need some sort of way to have more life points so we're not dying just from our opponents attacking over and over and over again at those monsters. So this is a good way to counteract the zero attack, but also with core, if you play it, send three, take three attacks, you lose nothing, and you're up on life points. This card's insane in time. But then we get to the even better effects. 2 plus, negate the activated effects of monsters that your opponent controlled when that effect was activated. So I'm not entirely sure um, how this is supposed to read, but what I think is it says negate the activated effects of monsters that your opponent controlled. Um, so what I think is when if you, again, going back to Dino, for example, over Raptor, for example, if you normal summon it, you now control that monster. If it activates its effect, it's negated is what I'm getting out of this. So essentially, over Raptor, effect gets negated. Sunlight Wolf activates its effect, negated. Uh, Cross Sheep, El Shadal Construct, negated. Alistair, negated. You see where I'm going with this, right? Um, so... Having two of these guys on board is basically just free monster negation. And then three. So having all three. Any monster sent to your opponent's graveyard is banished instead. <laughs> I mean, like, what the fuck? What? It's literally Macrocosmo, 
on legs if you get all three. So if you ran a normal macrocosmo, you basically have four macrocosmo. I mean, yes, you do have to get all three on board. But this is coming up to be a real good control deck, guys. I mean, uh, let me continue on with their effect and then I'll go into my tangent. Second effect. Once per turn, during your turn, if you control a level 10 monster, you can add one continuous trap from your graveyard to your hand. So now this deck also has some decent synergy with uh, Foolish Burial Goods that can send spells and traps. You can send Imperial Order. You can send Macrocosmo. You can send Anti-Spell. You can send a lot of cards. Uh, content the Continuous Spells, you can send... or uh, Continuum with the con Traps, you can also send... Uh, there can only be one, which has great synergy with this deck. Besides the fact that all of our, all of your monsters would be normal, would be fiends that you normal summon, our boss monsters are all different types. Imagine having a. There can only be one. This card with two plus with two plus of the sacred beasts, so two sacred beasts, and then your fallen paradise. They now have the protection of basically dark destroyer. And then you get two free draws, as long as the card stays on board, right? And then you're also getting, there can only be one, full value, because all of our boss monsters are different different names. And then you're also getting, um, you're also getting the effect negation of this and everything. It sounds pretty good. I'm not saying this deck's going to be tier one, right? But I'm saying this deck is viable. Um... But like I said, you now have synergy with stuff like Foolish Burial Goods that can send continue, really good continuous spells or really good continuous traps. And as long as you have one of these cards, you can you can now add those cards back to your hand and then just set them or activate them if it's a continuous spell. Excuse me. The the things you can send with these with these cards is phenomenal there's a lot of good things here that you can send um it these four cards wrapped up like closed in what the sacred beasts needed like it closed in the strategy and that's exactly what i wanted out of the last cards and that's what we get with these guys core has synergy with its with the spell um Chaos Summoning Beast now unbricks your hands with the Sacred Beast in your hand. They're no longer a brick. You can summon them. And then you can just use this effect to get the Fallen Paradise and get two free draws. Um, Gates. Gates lets you special summon these guys. So, I mean, shoot. If you have to... The fact that you can just discard any card and then special summon these guys is pretty phenomenal. It's really good, and the fact that it can also search any of your um, monsters that any that have your any of the sacred beasts in their name or the sacred beasts themselves is great, and it's great synergy with dark beckoning beasts that can summon basically any of these cards, any of these cards. And the cra and then the trap is just a floodgate, an insane floodgate. So I'm expecting some really good stuff out of the, out of this. Like I, I'm telling you, what right now? That structure deck comes out. Your boys buying three. Your boys definitely buying three, guys. Um, I'll probably like. I, there's probably a couple things that I missed. Um, I had to record this video three times. The last one I edited, and then the file just like blanked out. I don't know what happened, but uh, anyways. There might have been something I went over in the old videos that I didn't go in this one, but there's a there's a lot of good to expect from this deck now, guys. Like all the new cards that we got. And I I I called that. I called that. I said we would get more cards because we already got reprints of the of the Sacred Beast, Armatile, uh all that stuff. We we were confirmed those, and then we already got the confirmed uh ultras and supers. And then there was four, I think it was four parallel rare cards that we were supposed to get, and that's what these are. So, Konami did pretty all right, guys. For Sacred Beast, they did pretty all right. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and honestly, guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day whenever you're watching this. And until next time, peace out.